Did you guys know that training legs helps to achieve an aesthetically pleasing physique by improving muscle size, definition, and a much more symmetrical proportionate look to your overall physique? creating the ultimate aesthetic physique, training legs is very important. So if you're skipping your leg days and you're just doing arms all the time and upper body all the time, you're not going to be balanced and you're not going to be proportionate and you're not going to look aesthetic. Bro, what's going on guys and welcome back to episode three of building the ultimate aesthetic physique. In today's episode, I'm going to take you guys through my leg day routine and this is going to be one of the best days in the week in my opinion. Legs are one of those days where you don't want to do it, but after you do it, you feel the best. And the reason being is because when you train legs, it actually increases your testosterone, it boosts your metabolism, and it helps you look more proportionate overall, in which will help you to have the ultimate aesthetic physique. So before I start off with leg day, I like to have a nice warm up. Now the warm ups I usually do are either a bike machine for about five to 10 minutes, or the treadmill and I walk on the treadmill for about five to 10 minutes. This will help the muscle groups, the leg muscle groups to warm up, to get the joints loose and to get some blood flow into the legs. Now, the first thing and the first exercise before any other major exercise I like to do is calf raises, any kind of calf raises, whether that's seated calf raises, standing calf raises, whichever calf raises you prefer to do. And the reason I like to train calves in the beginning of my workout is because they are sometimes the most neglected muscle group when it comes to training. If you want to build up your weak points and if calves are your weak points, these are something you should do in the beginning of your workout. So calves is something I always like to start with. Normally I like to do four to five sets here of a 15 to 20 rep range and each set I like to increase the weight gradually. This will help to get the load on the calves as well as get the amount of volume that you should use. It only takes up one exercise for calves. It's a small muscle group. And when you hit them the right way, you train them the right way, they will grow. People say calves don't grow, but calves do grow when you put the effort into them. That's why having them in the beginning of the workout will eventually lead to you growing your calves. Going into the second exercise. Now this can either be supersetted with exercise two and three, or this can be done individually, depending on how you feel, depending on what you want to do. I like to switch it up week by week. So the second exercise is going to be hamstring curl machine. And then the third exercise is going to be a leg extension machine. Now I don't like to go into any kind of compound lifts right away. Instead, I like to actually train the muscle groups, the hamstrings and the quads separately in the beginning. This will help to not only one really warm up your muscle groups, but also to isolate them in the beginning and make them really grow throughout the next couple exercises. So exercise number two is hamstring curl machine. Here I like to do four sets as I'm gradually increasing the weight. I'm also going to lower the repetition. So the first three sets will be about 12 to 15 reps. And then as we go into our top set, which is our last set, I'll be going up to eight to 10 reps followed by a drop set until failure. So the goal here is at the last set is to have a failure set where you can no longer do any more repetitions just to burn out the hamstrings completely. So with exercise number three, we're going to the leg extensions. This is gonna be the same routine as the hamstring curls. We're doing about four sets here. And the first three sets are gonna be more volumized, focusing on doing 12 to 15 reps and focusing on the negative contraction and to make sure that we're doing good repetitions. When you focus on doing good repetitions, you'll notice a better burn and you'll notice a better workout throughout the entire routine. Now, as we lead into our last set, top set, we're gonna make sure we do a drop set till failure burnout. So this is the, like I said, the goal is to really achieve failure with the hamstring curl machine as well as the leg extension machine. And if you really wanna take it to that next level, superset the both of them and see how it feels. Make sure you guys are resting about one to two minute rest period in between your sets so you don't really feel destroyed by the end of them. Now going into exercise number four, guys, we go into a leg press machine. Any leg press machine of your choice, whichever one allows you to get a really good, deep, full range of motion. Now, you want to get a really good stretch when it comes to a leg press machine. 
and I typically like to do two sets, very two, very intense two sets of 15 reps. And the goal is to have enough weight where you can almost get to failure, but also get a good range of motion and good repetitions. There will be no drop sets involved in this leg press. We just want two very intense sets. All right, so here we are on the leg press machine. Just a quick tip. When you guys are doing leg press, make sure you're getting full range of motion, meaning come all the way down as far as possible as you can with your leg motion, your leg range. And then when you press, Press all the way up, but do not lock out your knees. Okay, that's dangerous. You can get hurt that way. Make sure there's always a slight little bend in your knee. So, so you're coming all the way down, come down, come down. This is where you're gonna feel that stretch, push, get a slight bend on your knees, back down. And then we'll go on to exercise number five. Now with exercise number five, we're going into the compound squat, the barbell back squat. Now you're probably guessing, hey, why did you leave the compound barbell squat in the middle of the workout? Well, the goal here is to achieve maximum intensity and growth. And when you leave a barbell squat in the middle of the workout or towards the end, when your legs are fatiguing, when you're getting tired, it will force you to do forced reps, meaning you would have to actually exert a little bit more energy, and this comes to a mental battle as well. This allows you to give it your all, to do three sets of six to eight reps. These are really good reps that we wanna focus on, getting the good form, focusing on good repetitions, and making sure that we're not also getting injured. So I don't want to go as heavy as I can, but I want to go into a moderate weight where I'll know I feel the burn by the sixth or eighth rep. Going into exercise number six, which is potentially the last exercise, we are going into stiff leg deadlifts or AKA Romanian deadlifts to really get the glutes and hamstrings completely finished off as this comes to an end of the leg day. And over here, we like to do three sets, 12 to 15 rep range and making sure that we're getting the full stretch and not rushing the repetitions, allowing our body to really feel the burn in the hamstring. Now, if you really wanna finish off the leg day, the one finisher I do is walking lunges. You can do this body weight or with dumbbells. Finishing off with lunges will finish you off for the rest of the week. I typically like to do legs once a week because the intensity is very intense when you do it the right way. You don't need to have two leg days if you're doing a very intense leg day once a week. So make sure you guys try this out on your next leg day. Make sure you guys are trying out these routines, seeing what's gonna work for you, making sure you're adjusting to the weight that's necessary and you're focusing on those good repetitions and you're focusing on the full ranges of motion. When you involve good repetitions, full ranges of motion, moderate weight, you're gonna notice more results and this leg day is coming to an end, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the third episode of Building the Ultimate Aesthetic Physique. Do not skip your leg day. Please don't skip your leg day. I know it's sometimes very difficult, but when you guys train it the right way, you'll see the results for yourself. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, bro.